Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The proliferation of low RCS drone remotely piloted aircrafts unmanned aerial vehicle has enhanced the air threat multifold. They may be employed individually or as a swarm as cheaper and flexible option to target adversaries assets. These threats can be countered by utilizing multi-sensor and multi-kill options integrated into cohesive system with suitable mobility. In a recent interview, the Solar Industries Chairman S.N. Nuwal has said that his firm has been granted permission to manufacture the hard kill measures integrated with laser as well as missiles to neutralize the UAVs. As per S.N. Nuwal, the system will be completely ready in the next two years. The system can be deployed on a stationary as well as mobile platform covering various aspects of threat environment. The Solar Industries has been expanding its portfolio in defense manufacturing very aggressively. The firm is already producing booster for Brahmos, Pinaka rockets, components of Akash missile, next generation handheld grenades, warhead for DRDO's MP ATGM, 150 and 250 km range Mahesh Swarastra series of rockets for Pinaka and Nagastra series of lottery munition. Now, recently, the Defense Ministry has also released an RFP to procure nine integrated drone detection and introduction system under by Indian category. The system is being procured for Indian Army and the delivery of equipment will be completed within 12 months from the date of signing of the contract. The proposed system will be deployed independently or in conjunction with the in-service air defense weapon system in all types of terrain such as plain, desert and high altitude. Now, talking about this system feature, it will consist of surveillance and detection system, tracking system, interdiction systems and control station. The surveillance and detection system should be based on radar and passive RF detection system. It will have an EOFCS target tracking system which will be based on EO and thermal imaging site with tracking facility. It should be able to be queued by radar or a passive RF detection system towards the direction of detected target. It should be able to lay on the target and provide tracking data to control station for engagement. The surveillance and detection system will be able to detect 0.1 square meter of RCS target from 10 kilometers and 0.01 square meter of target from 8 kilometers. The minimum detection altitude is 3 kilometer. For EOFC system, the detection range is 8 km for a target of size 1.6 m by 0.3 m and 6 km for a target of size 0.3 m by 0.3 m. So based on the inputs available from passive detection and analysis of transmission parameters, the jamming system should be able to provide suitable solution for jamming of the drones. The jammer should be able to generate high power RF with suitable parameters to jam and degrade the drone up to a range of not less than 5 km using directional antenna. This is also known as soft kill measure. Now talking about the hard kill measure which will be based on the laser. The laser weapon system should be able to achieve target information from control station and get queued on to the target. It should be able to engage designated targets up to a range not less than 2 km during operation. The system should have option for integration with existing gun and missile system of army air defense system to exchange target data to initiate allow engagement of target using suitable interfacing device. So this requirement of army is very similar to DRDO's anti-drone system which is called D4S that is drone detect, deter and destroy system but the range requirement is slightly more, not slightly but significantly more. The defense PSU BEL is the production partner for D4 system. Back in September 2021, the tri-services had signed contract for acquiring the DRDO based anti-drone system in April 2022. The technology of anti-drone system has been transferred to Adani Defense System, Larson and Tubro as well as Astra Microwave. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, 
do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector